Body horror. Ah, why is my arm now a giant lobster claw? Or why have I suddenly grown a tail? And oh no, now I'm a human jellyfish. The thing is, body horror is a facet of our fandom that just manages to strike a terrifying chord on a very instinctual level. There is something absolutely horrifying about the thought of unwittingly morphing into a human hodgepodge of flesh and skin and pus ridden matter that is incredibly difficult to ignore even the most terrible of body horror movies. Since Mary Shelley's 1818 novel Frankenstein, the concept of the uncanny descent into a lifetime of monstrosity has been shaped and formed by the genre of horror and luckily for us there are some stomach churning entries to choose from. Hello horror fans what's going on and once again welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube top 5 scary videos. As per usual I'll be your horror host Jack Finch as today we curiously take a look at the top 5 most disgusting body horror movies. Roll the clip. <laughs> amongst you, that clip was of course from David Cronenberg's 1986 body horror bonanza, The Fly, starring the one and only Jeff Goldblum as Seth Brundle, a man whose curiosity becomes his fleshy insectoid downfall. It's important to note that David Cronenberg is the godfather of body horror and The Fly is perhaps the greatest of them all and you know what I'm going to say, don't you? We've covered that particular entry time and time again as well as John Carpenter's The Thing which is also a fierce contender for the number one spot but I want to keep things fresh for you guys. So consider these our most honourable of honourable mentions. Kicking off at number five, Tusk, 2014. With the venom travelling to your heart, it forced the doctor to save your life, to take rather, as we say, drastic measures. Alright guys, Tusk is messed up. So messed up that when Kevin Smith announced it, people were so excited that he was making a new movie and then within that same breath were absolutely disgusted by how damn messed up his newest creation was. But that isn't to say that it's not just straight up horror goodness, because it is. It's just really, really gross, wrapped up in the most surprising of all animalistic packages, The Walrus. Written and directed by the off the wall genius Kevin Smith, Tusk tells a tale of a podcast host named Wallace, played by Justin Long, who heads to the remote north of Canada to interview a grizzled old sailor who promises to reveal a lifetime of interesting stories as new material for his show. What's that got to do with the walrus? You may ask, well I'll let you find out for yourself. Just bear in mind that Tusk is equal parts hilarious but only in the way that the most nightmarish of fever dreams can be. The thing is Kevin Smith is a divisive filmmaker regardless of your stance on this movie. You either love his work or you think it's pointless and you hate it and many people felt the same about Tusk in particular. For the most part it was torn apart by Chris Critics, but if my opinion holds any weight with top 5 scary viewers then trust me, Tusk is one of the best attempts at modern body horror in a long, long time and it's freakishly unique in its own perverse way. This film is absurd and it defines the horrific hilarity of the human form being stripped away and broken down on several different levels. As a surprising side note, Justin Long is awesome in Tusk as is Michael Parks as the terrifyingly convincing serial killer turned veterinary surgeon Howard. Watch this film and the next time you go to a zoo you'll think twice about what's behind the bars. Coming in at number four, Slither 2006. Slither, an underappreciated precious gem of a movie and a worthy entry into the halls of horror fandom. If you're expecting scares from this particular film, please don't hold your breath, but if you're in the mood for some of the grossest physical effects in the genre, as well as some of the most genuinely hilarious moments in horror comedy, then this one is for you. Written and directed by James Gunn in his first ever directorial debut, Slither was written by a horror fan for horror fans and it's a throwback to pretty much every B movie ever made, all wrapped up neatly in the most disgusting of horror concepts. A an alien parasite that injects its lava into a town full of humans. That's a great start for any body horror, right? Slither tells a tale of the small town of Wheelsey, South Carolina that becomes the host of a sentient alien parasite that crash lands in the surrounding wilderness and subsequently infects the local man about town, Grant Grant, played by the absolutely incredible and equal parts hilarious Michael Rooker. Of course that's just the beginning because what ensues is a writhing descent into the desecration of the human body in the most disgusting way possible as people become wrapped up in the alien parasites insatiable hunger for breeding with human flesh and I do mean that literally. Following its release in 2006 this film was a complete flop at the box office but hey body horror is an acquired taste right? Just like alien lava. Oh gross. Next up at number three From Beyond 1986. Humans are such easy prey. Let her go! Oh 
I and you may be expecting the legendary reanimator to fill this space instead of From Beyond, and in many ways, rightfully so, as Stuart Gordon's incredible interpretation of the works of Howard Phillips Lovecraft is one of the finest Splatterhouse movies ever made. But as far as disgusting, twisted body horror goes, his next foray into the preferred side of science fiction and cosmic horror is the better demonstration of the two. From Beyond is a gross film, there is no doubt in it, and it's in its portrayal of science gone wrong where we're treated to some of the most insanely eye opening physical effects. In fact, what starts as a film similar in tone to Reanimator, with some low budget humour and deadpan delivery from the awesome Jeffrey Coombs, quickly turns into a stomach churning thrill ride of over exaggerated gore and the gut wrenching physical realisation of some of the more insaner Lovecraftian narrative concepts. Written and directed by Stuart Gordon alongside his production squad of Dennis Powley and Brian Yuzner, From Beyond is based upon the short story of the same name by H.P. Lovecraft, and yet it takes a few more twists and turns into its descent into the darker side of human consciousness. It tells the tale of two scientists, Pretorius and Tillinghast, who've developed a machine known as the Resonator that simulates the human pineal gland in the search to find other dimensional planes. Well, of course, as we all know, when you go meddling with the many layers of cosmic horror, of course, it's filled to the brim with terrifying fleshy creatures and writhing tentacle ridden monstrosities. Yeah, if you want body horror, From Beyond has it in spades from start to finish, and it's both great and gross the whole while through. Swinging it next at number two, Altered States, 1980. Defy it, Eddie. You made it real, you can make it unreal. If you can't tell already, science and body horror go hand in hand. And although we've rightly given credit to the godfather of body horror, David Cronenberg, particularly in the likes of The Fly, Videodrome, and Scanners, there is one classic of conceptual body horror that we all may have forgotten about Ken Russell's mind bending 1980 science fiction existential horror, Altered States. And if you haven't seen this film, then I'm not exactly sure what to tell you because really, it's something else entirely. Now, it's important to note that whilst the physical effects of this film aren't exactly in league with the likes of Cronenberg and the Lovecraftian works of Stuart Gordon, it's in the implication of this particular body horror where the true gross out and terror of this film lies. Directed by the off the wall legend of cinema, that is the late great Ken Russell, the man responsible for 1971's The Devils, as well as the epic musical Tommy, based on the album of the same name by The Who, Russell's diverse and often overwhelming cinematic catalogue probably sums up just how strange and weird Altered States really is. It tells the tale of Edward, a scientist played by William Hurt in his debut role, who becomes obsessed with the notion of other states of consciousness, and so he descends into an addiction of sensory deprivation tanks and hallucinogenic drugs in the pursuit of reaching them. But of course, this is a horror film, and that particular cautionary tale of curiosity killing cats comes with a price. This film is insane. It's everything mashed up into one, and it will make you think twice whether we really are just meat sacks being piloted by our own brains. And finally, coming in at our number one spot, Tetsuo, the Iron Man, 1989. Because we just have to end with a bang, and there is no other film that could have quite lived up to just exactly how bad crazy Tetsuo the Iron Man really is. There are a few rules to body horror, I suppose, that keeps it in line with the narrative intention without just ending up like a torture porn flick akin to the human centipede or others of its ilk. But in its own equally unique way, Tetsuo takes a look at those rules and throws them off the top of a damn building. Where do I even begin with this film? I know that I say that quite a lot, but really it's never been more appropriate. Imagine if David Lynch took a razor head and then made it watch The Fly and then buzzed it up with some German experimental cinema and then release the whole thing in Japan. And then you'll kind of get an idea just how insanely messed up this movie really is. But in a strange way, it's also awesome. I mean, the reason you're even watching this list is because body horror can gross you out in all of the best ways, and Tetsuo the Iron Man will gross you out with every single frame. I almost can't even explain the plot without fear of somehow giving you guys the wrong impression. Written and directed by Shinya Tsukamoto, Tetsuo is a cyberpunk horror film that tells a tale of a man obsessed with metal and the lengths that he'll go to to fulfill his twisted desires. Kind of. Um, yeah. Honestly guys, as far as body horror goes, this is the tip 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 -de top of the machine man metal pile. I don't even know what else to say, just watch it and be prepared, I guess, please. Well there we have it horror fans, our list for the top 5 most disgusting body horror movies. What do you guys think? Do you agree or do you have any particular entries of your own? Why don't you let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below, as well as any choice picks, and who knows, maybe we can roll out a part 2. 
Before we depart from today's video though, let's first take a quick look at some of your more resounding remarks from over the past few days. Frontal Lobe says, what mythological being are you Jack and what is Lucy? Well, do I get to pick? I mean, if I could pick, I guess I'd be part of the wild hunt because you can just chill for eternity riding around doing metal cool stuff. If I didn't get to pick, I'd probably be like a goblin or something like that. And Lucy is Baba Yaga. Wait, was I meant to say that? On that note, horror fans, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in today's video. Just stick around all the way until the end. If you were a fan of this video or just top five scary videos in particular, then please be a dear and hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe bell. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. As per usual, I've been your horror host, Jack Finch. You've been watching top five scary videos. And until next time, please take it easy. <laughs>